honestly, when my, my manager called and he said, I have this TV show for you, and he said it's called Good Christian Bitches, and I was like, well, I'm in. That's it. I got I to gotta read that. And um, I just, I love the irony of the name. And then I love Bobby Harling, who I've been, we've been always talking about working together, so I was really immediately interested by him because I think he's such a beautiful writer. And then I read it, and I was really attracted to this character of Amanda Vaughn. I thought, I'd never, I don't usually get to play sort of the straight guy a bit, and um, her story was interesting to me. I just thought there was a lot of avenues to go down with her and to explore. And I like this idea of starting over. I think a lot of women can relate to that. You know, you get in your 30s and the rules of the game change for whatever reason, you know, whether it be a death, whether it be a divorce, whether it be whatever. And you have to start over. And I thought there was something really interesting about Amanda Vaughn's journey. And, um, <coughs> and finding that and finding like the, the poignancy mixed with the comedy in it because usually I'm used to like putting on some crazy like wig and becoming this crazy character so I kind of have nothing to hide behind it's you know I feel very bare out there but it's it's been such a fun fun ride um, you know I think that's the thing uh, I think in this town y you know if, if you nothing ever you, you can never expect anything to be one way it's always the, ga the, the pieces of the game are always changing and moving. And so one episode could end and you could think like, oh, maybe Carlene has forgiven her and she doesn't, she doesn't. You know, it, it, it would kind of, I think and the thing is, is that I, I, you know, Kristen and I always say that Carlene and Amanda are like, we are so different. You know, I, the last thing I want to be is Carlene Cocker and the last thing she wants to be is Amanda Vaughn. But at the root of it, I think, honestly, these characters are very similar women. They're very passionate. They're very devoted. They're good mothers. They're funny. And, and you know, they're both kind of a piece of work. But yet we refuse to sort of own up to that and own that there's some similarity. So they're constantly going at it. And, and Bobby is so good at stirring the pot in inventive ways all the time. <coughs> I think, you know, I think the audience, if you stick with this, you are literally going to fall deeper and deeper in love with everybody because it's so much fun. And he literally, that's all Bobby does is stir the pot and stir the pot. And it culminates in, I think, one of the greatest, you know, season finales ever. It's so funny, this season finale. It's so good. It's funny. I, I, I when I'm in the show, I don't, I don't see it because they just feel so different. I think what is similar is that, you know, th it's, theirs is surrounded, or, you know, is based around Wisteria Lane and ours is in Highland Park. There's, you know, Bobby, we're Southern women and I, I th that is just a, a specific world that, you know, I grew up in the South and a lot of the girls in our show were are Southern and um, I, I, it's a, just a specific place and, and I, there's kind of no comparison to that, you know. And this is also, we're based around church, and I think it's a little bit, it's less, I mean, even though it has a soap element to it, it also, Bobby has this wonderful way of sort of casting a light on bigger issues so that you leave the show, and I think it leaves you thinking. You know, he's a playwright at heart, and so he writes, he can turn a phrase like nobody's business. And I will be even in the middle of a scene and go, oh, holy crap, this is what this whole show is about. Like in the middle of a scene going, oh my God, how did I miss that?